Toyota has a problem. Federal highway safety officials said today the cause of those so-called runaway Toyotas, cars taking off on their own up to 100 miles an hour, was still under active investigation and not resolved, as Toyota had suggested. Until today, Toyota had solely blamed the wrong size floor mats hitting the gas pedal or driver error. With an estimated 16 deaths connected to the problem through lawsuits and police reports, a number of Toyota owners have been coming forward to claim there's much more to it than floor mats. It's a kind of Toyota owner's rebellion, spurred on by what happened on this San Diego highway in August. 911 emergency, what are you reporting? California Highway Patrol Officer Mark Saylor was in a 2009 Lexus with his wife, daughter, and brother-in-law when the car took off on him. This is what it looks like in a car going 50 miles an hour on that highway. This is what it looks like doubled to approximate the 100 mile an hour speed Sailor reached. Our accelerator's stuck. We're in trouble. We can't, well, there's no brake. Sailor's brother-in-law, Chris Lestrella, called 911 for the back seat as the car raced out of control. Okay, and you don't have the ability to like turn the vehicle off or anything? We're approaching the intersection. We're approaching the intersection. Hold on, please. All four people in the runaway car died after the Lexus hit a vehicle, crashed into an embankment, and burst into flames, an incident that made headlines around the world. In Tokyo, the president of Toyota, Akio Toyota, formally apologized. I offer my deepest condolences, he said. Toyota quickly said it had found the problem. The wrong-sized all-weather rubber floor mat in the car was pushed forward and caught the gas pedal like this holding it down. The company ordered a huge floor mat recall for 3.8 million cars, and the federal government urged consumers to follow Toyota's recommendation. I can't begin to express my remorse, said the Toyota president. What he did not say, however, but what people at his company know, is that there have been plenty of accidents and incidents involving runaway Toyotas which the drivers insist had nothing to do with floor mats. I am absolutely certain that in my situation, it was not the floor mats. Outside Denver on Interstate 70, Elizabeth James' Toyota Prius suddenly shot up to 90 miles an hour and would not stop, even though she says her foot had not even been on the accelerator. I kept going faster and faster, and all of a sudden, I was, uh, my foot was pressing on the brake super, super hard, and I wasn't slowing down. She drove her Prius into a field and crashed it into a river to finally stop. I kept saying that to myself, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. In Portland, Oregon, Mariana Eisner's Lexus crashed into a truck after it shot out of control on the freeway in September. I did have a fleeting thought that this may be the day I die. She says she had already heard about the floor mat problem and made a point of checking hers. The mat was nowhere near the accelerator. In the California Mojave Desert, Paul and Saskia McLean had just passed a car when they say their Toyota Highlander suddenly surged to almost 100 miles an hour. Their car did not have the floor mat involved in the recall. And you're certain there was nothing underneath the no, gas pedal? I looked. Yeah. I nothing. looked, I bent over and looked. No, there was nothing. On their way to a camping weekend with their two children in the back seat, the McLeans say they would have been killed if they had been anywhere other than the middle of the desert. We got lucky, but some people did not get lucky. There is clearly an uprising amongst Toyota and Lexus owners. This problem can't be explained solely by floor mats. Auto safety analyst Sean Kane, who works with government regulators, plaintiff's lawyers, and the auto industry, says he has tracked more than 2,000 reports of runaway Toyotas over the last 10 years through lawsuits, police reports, and complaints to the federal government. The data clearly tells us there's something going on. There's no question the numbers in Toyota today are showing up at greater numbers than other manufacturers. While Toyota continues to blame only the floor mats or driver error, there is growing suspicion by some owners about a glitch of some kind in the electronic computer control system used in Toyotas. What most drivers may not know is that the gas pedal in Toyotas and most cars now no longer directly feeds gas to the engine, but instead simply sends an electronic signal to the car's computer. It's no longer a, a mechanical link between your foot and the, and the engine anymore. Safety analysts say the number of complaints about runaway Toyotas took off after 2002, 
the same year the company went to an all-computer and wire system with no mechanical fallback. Are floor mats causing some of the problem? Sure, they probably are, you know, but the electronics, you can't discount the electronics given all of the things that are going on, given all of the reports, given all of the evidence. That's what the driver of this Toyota Camry thinks is what happened to him as his car took off and plunged over a 100-foot cliff into the Pacific Ocean, making big news in Central California. And all of us had a car surged with force, and I was thrown back into the seat. Bulentizal barely survived, but his wife of 46 years did not as the car plunged into the water. I heard my wife, then I don't remember anything after that. Seriously injured and now suing Toyota, Izal and his son and lawyer showed us this what was left of his 2005 Camry, which didn't even have the rubber all-weather floor mats Toyota has blamed in the other cases. The police surmised, and Toyota claims Izal mistakenly pushed the gas pedal. Sir, I did not. My foot was absolutely positively on the brake. Izal's lawyer, Don Slavik, points to the tiny computer Toyota uses for most of its models, from Camry to Lexus. We've all experienced computer glitches and using our own personal computers where something just happens, we don't know why. The lawyer discovered Toyota had quietly alerted dealers about a computer glitch in its earlier 2002 and 2003 Camrys, which Toyota now says was only a slight and momentary problem, which was easily resolved with reprogramming. They had a problem where at speeds between 38 and 42 miles per hour in a light pedal application that they may get surging. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, has done six separate investigations of acceleration surges in Toyotas since 2003, and it says it found no defect in Toyota's electronics. Teasing out that problem could be an extraordinarily difficult issue for anybody. Not just the manufacturer, but the government or anybody else is looking at this problem. Toyota officials would not agree to be interviewed, but they posted this statement online from executive Bob Daly, who denied any electronic or other defect. It's important to note that no defect exists in vehicles in which the driver's side floor mat is compatible with the vehicle and properly secured. But federal officials said today that Daly and Toyota were wrong to say that Toyota had been given any such clean bill of health, that the matter is still not closed, despite what Toyota has said. Elizabeth James and her husband Ted once thought the world of Toyota, but after a company inspector examined their car and Toyota suggested it might be bad brakes, the Jameses went on the offensive. And of course, at that point, I was just infuriated because we all know that brakes can't cause a car to speed up. Now the Jameses have joined other Toyota owners in a kind of online YouTube campaign, accusing Toyota of gross negligence and cover-up, especially since the accident in San Diego. I just winced, and my first thought was my worst nightmare is coming true, that Toyota ignored us, they blew off the problem, and that now people have died because of it. Federal officials say they are looking most closely now at possible defects in the floor design of Toyotas or in problems with the gas pedal, as the Los Angeles Times first reported. Whatever the cause, it remains a very dangerous situation that may happen only rarely, but when it does, requires a driver to act quickly. So we asked a test driver for Consumer Reports to demonstrate what to do in just such an emergency. If this ever happens to you, here's what you need to do. Put your foot on the brake hard. Put the car to neutral. Car will stop. The engine will rev. Once you're stopped, turn off the car and you're safe. Our safety expert also said drivers should not pump their brakes because they'll become ineffective and advised not to turn off the car because that cuts off both power steering and power brakes. In the meantime, the investigation of the cause of these runaway Toyotas continues in earnest.